Good morning all. In my last video, you have seen Indian place value system and naming large numbers up to crore. Understand? In this video, in my second video, I will explain you how we will find place value or face value of any digit in a large number. So let's start. We will find what? Place value and face value. Suppose I am taking one number. Okay, this is a number I have taken. Last video you have seen now how we will name it, how we will group it in periods and all. So first what we do, we take one period. How many digits in one period? Three. One, two, three. We put a comma. Then second period is what? Thousands period. In that we take two digit and put comma. Third is lakh. Lakh period. In lakh period how many digits are there? Two digits. So we will put a comma after two digit and then it is crore period and each period has places and all places names you know it is 10 crore, it is crore, it is 10 lakh, it is lakh, 10 thousand, it is thousand, hundred, once, sorry hundred, Tens and ones. Clear? Places you know. So if somebody is asking you in which place six is there. What is the place of six? So what we will say? We will say that place of six is ten lakh. 10 lakh. This is the place. Clear? Similarly, if someone is asking what is the value of 6 in that place? That is called place value of 6. Place value of 6. So, place value is what? In which place it is? It is in 10 lakhs place. 10 lakhs place. It is in 10 lakhs place and its value is what? 6. So its place value is 60 lakh. So if somebody is asking what is the place value of 4? So what will you say? 4 is the digit and its place is crore. So its place value is 4 multiplied by crore that is 4 crore. Now, face value. Face value of 6. If somebody is asking what is the face value of this number digit, so you will say face value is the number itself. We will not consider in which place it is. If it is here also, its face value is 6. If it is here also, its place value is 6. So, face value is always same, the digit itself. But place value changes according to place. If it is in lakhs place, its value will be number multiplied by lakh. If it is in hundreds place, its value is number multiplied by hundred. For example, take this six. What is its place value? Place value of six. What is the value? Number and multiply by its place. Its place is what? Tens place. So its place value is 60. But its face value? Face value is number itself. So this way we find place value and face value of any digit. Clear? Now you tell me what is the place value of 9? Place value of 9 is 9 into 10,000. Place value of 9 is 9 into 10,000. 
means ninety thousand ninety thousand and face value is nine. Clear? So this screen, whatever I am right living here now, you please take a screenshot and note it down. Now I will explain you expanded form of any number. Actually, now I will teach you expanded form of any number. So expanded form is when each digit of a number is written with its place value, we get the expanded form of that number. If each digit is written with its place value, we get the expanded form of that number. So here we have to find expanded form of this number and what is expanded form? Sum of place value of each digit. So its place value we have to find. I have told you now how we write place value. Number and its place. Place ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh crore and ten crore. So its place is what? Ten crore. Ten crore how do we write? Then 4. 4 and its place. Place is what? Crore. So we will write 1 crore. Then 6 and its place. 10 lakh is the place. So 10 lakh. Then 8 and its place. Place is lakh. So 8 into 1 lakh. Then 9. 9 is in which place? 10 thousands place. So 10 thousands place 9 is there. So we will write it 9 multiplied by 10 thousand. Then 5 is in thousands place. So we will write 5 into thousand. Then 0. 0 is in which place? Hundreds place. So we will write 0 into 100. Then 6, 6 is in 10's place, so we will write 6 into 10 and 2 is in 1's place, so we will write 2 into 1. Now, this is, a, this is the expanded form of this number. We can write in short like this also. 30 crore plus 4 crore Plus 60 lakh plus 8 lakh plus 90,000 90,000 plus 5,000 plus 0 into 100. 0 multiplied by any number is what? 0. So it is 0. You write or don't write. It's up to you. I am not writing. You may write. Its value will be the same. Now it is 60 and it is 1. So this way we write the expanded form. Either you write this way or this way. Both are correct. Got it? So expanded form is also over. And if expanded form is given, can you write short form? Huh? Yes, why not? So we will do now, we will learn standard form. Or we can say it as short form of a number. Suppose... One number is given in expanded form. For example, I am writing here. What is this number? 7 crore. Then 20 
lakh then 3 lakh then 5000 i'm not telling 50 5000 then 400 20 plus 5. This is the expanded form of any number. Now, we have to write this in short form or standard form. What is the way? The way is, we will write first, we will see the largest number. Largest is what? Largest is 7 crore. So, we will write 7. And then we will see after that, which place is there? Lack. After crore, lack is there. So, how many lakhs are there? Here 20 lakh and here 3 lakh. So, what is it? 23 lakh. So, we will write 23 lakh. After lakh, we will put comma for 1000 period. Then 1000. How many thousands are there? 5000. No 20,000 or no 30,000. Means 10,000 places not there. 10,000 places not there. Only 5000 is there. So, we will not write like this. We will not write like this. What we will do? We will leave place for 10,000. So, this way we will write the digit. If any place is missing here, in that place we will put 0. Then next place is 1000 place and it is 10,000 place. So, this place if nothing is given here, we will not leave it vacant. We will put here 0. This is the right way. Got it? Then 100 place is there. So, 100 is 400 is there. Tenth place has 2 digit, 2 and 1's place has 5. So, our number is now 7 crore 23 lakh 5425. Remember this point. Anywhere when that place has no digit, you will put 0 there. Got it? So, this way we find standard form or short form. I hope you understand this. Now your homework. It is already uploaded your homework. So exercise 1a question number 5, 6 and 7 YouTube. I hope you will do it properly. Thank you.